on, peoples. Welcome back to my channel. Listen, my waistline just my sideline, nigga. So don't take time, cause my hotline's banging on me. If you are new and welcome back, girl. If you are already subscribed, talking of subscription, you already know what I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. rewind. Talking of subscription, you already know what I'm gonna say. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe it, subscribe it to the channel, and let's get this show on the road. Back again with another video. Yes still in confinement yes things are easing up but sadly we haven't been given the all clear just yet we have not been given the all complete clear just yet i just thought i'd come to you guys with something different a little get ready with me it won't be your usual get ready with me unfortunately no hair up hair down i don't know i don't know if i should have my hair up or down so don't be distracted if you see things just switch up and down just randomly throughout the video Anyway, so I've been watching so many videos in this time, random things from animals giving birth to how to build a bed. I've just been having a great time on YouTube. But the other day I was watching a documentary about jail or prison, one of the two, the one that is the harsher one, one of the two, I can't remember. But it was so fascinating, guys. You lot know I love documentaries. Like that's, that's, those are just my thing. So I was watching a documentary about women's prison or women's jail. It was just so fascinating, so educational. I was learning how women, some people communicate, like smuggle things in. It was just so sick. And the thing that fascinated me the most out of all of that was the things that they do to wear makeup. Makeup in there is considered contraband, meaning you're not allowed, illegal in that facility. I'm not sure what the consequences are to being caught with makeup but I just know that it's not allowed. Now, because it's not allowed, the women in there, when I say DIY, DIY on a whole different level, the women in there have come up with ways, just alternative ways to still look cute, honey. Just goes to show you that us women here, sometimes when we really wanna look cute, we try our best to do that. Now, the thing that I heard, I just thought to myself, can this really be, you know, can this really be practical? Can this really make sense? I don't really know. But that's just what they do. So I decided today to film a video trying out some of these methods. So I'm gonna be doing a full face to the best of my ability because there's certain things that can't be achieved, okay? Like things like mascara. There were ways some people said, but I am not interested in putting pencil or lead on my eyelids. It's all right, it's not that deep. Everything else, I will try my hardest to achieve using my prison essentials. Things that you'd be able to find in the prison. Not drugstore, not high end, no, literally things that you can get your hands on should you ever be in jail. I'm sure this doesn't apply to the UK. This was strictly US. The documentary I watched was in the US. Let's get started. Yes, so step one, browse. Uh, what they usually do for that is they ground up either cinnamon powder or instant coffee powder and mix it with some water. Now, I personally felt like it was way too watery, so what I done is I mixed a bit of instant coffee with some honey to make it waxy, so it could be like an eyebrow pomade, like Anastasia Beverly Hills kind of vibe. I could be completely wrong, but we'll see what happens. I should probably get a mirror. This is my honey and coffee mix. Do I fill in my brows before or after? I usually fill in my brows after my foundation, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna do that first, simply because I'm not sure what the consistency of my foundation is gonna be like, so my, you know, eyebrows may just slip off. And also, another thing to add, they did not use any tools. However, I know I'm doing a prison look, but I'm not actually there. I actually want this to be a little bit nice, so I'm gonna cheat a bit and I'm actually gonna use some tools. Yeah, I'm actually quite scared. I hope I don't break out or nothing stupid. Is it coming up? I think so. Hopefully this doesn't, the honey doesn't dry and like when I try to take it off, it's a wrap. Do you know what I mean? To be fair, no one actually sent me to use honey. They did say water and coffee, so. And it stinks. I actually hate coffee, guys. I don't like it. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Let's be real. Tell the truth and shame the devil. This doesn't look too bad. Let's be real, innit? Let's tell the truth. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Tied my hair up because those two bits there were really just getting on my nerves. Okay. I feel like we really are actually getting somewhere. Now, do you know what? Let me not speak too fast because I know how I am. I'll be speaking, speaking, speaking. And then afterwards, I'll regret it later. But. This stinks. <laughs> on my days, guys. Whoa. Come on, baby. I actually like this. Knew it. If I'd done the water, it would have been way too watery. 
Jeez. Baddie. Ow. I think that's enough. I think, yeah, any more and it's a bit too much. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So that's the. Oof. I hope I don't look too crazy. Let it. I know. It might, <laughs> you know, I look like. You know, when you get your brows microbladed, that thing that they put at their wipe off. That's what I look like I have right now. Hopefully, you can just wait for it to dry. Just let's wait for it to dry because I feel like I've got high hopes for this. I actually really do. Next up, we're gonna move on to foundation. Also, I asked a couple of my friends if they were to ever be arrested and end up going to jail, what would it most likely be for? For myself, I feel like it will probably be for something so stupid because I am a law-abiding citizen. Let's make that real clear, honey. I know that it will be for something dumb. You know those people that say um, half-price dominoes or something like this? I know that I could probably see myself you know, falling for that trap. Something stupid like that. Before I carry on with that, for foundation, what they would do, some moisturizer and cinnamon powder or instant coffee powder, depending on your shade. Now, my cream of the day is finna be E45. Now, I'm choosing this because it's nice and thick and also because I'm basically allergic to anything else. My skin is just a joke, like... I don't know who it thinks it is. I'm gonna use the cinnamon powder with it. Yeah, I think that would go. This is my cinnamon powder. And we're just gonna mix that up and hope to get a nice shade. Yeah, get me. Oof, this looks, actually, whoa. You know what, yeah, hey, what? This shade. Oh snap, I think I got some in my cream. I just really hope I don't break out trying to do all of this. But these are natural ingredients. Technically speaking, these are natural ingredients. So there's no reason why I should. But yeah, like I was saying, I was asked a couple people and some of my friends what they feel they would most likely be imprisoned for. And here are a couple answers that I got. Fighting my boyfriend for cheating, but not the girl. Well, on one hand, I'm like, yes, girl. Me no fight, no girl. Over no man, me no idiot. And then at the same time, it's like, girl, all that beating up, beating up, what does it even do? But yeah, now true, okay, fine, fair enough. That's the reason they'd most likely get jailed for, she said, okay. That's a good question, actually. If you ever, if you ever found your boyfriend in some sort of situation where he was cheating, who should you fight? The boy, the girl, or both? And vice versa, if you're a guy. Who should be fought, the guy or the girl? Or both. <laughs> I know that that scenario kind of changes depending on whether the person, the person that they're cheating with, if they know about you. But even then, I feel like one person should get the boot, and that's the person you're with. But anyway, foundation is looking hella good. It's looking good. Another answer I got was stealing whoa stealing days are way behind me not gonna lie when i was a young guy when i was a young girl i used to do that but nothing crazy like you know a bit of pick and mix a bit of primarily here and there come on don't judge me it's the truth i don't know if i should use uh, a brush is it sticky oh my days the consistency of this it's the consistency is very sticky i don't know if i should use my beauty blender or a brush i'm gonna go in with the brush I'm gonna go with my Real Techniques flat top brush. I'm actually scared. Do I need to add water to this? It's a bit thick, you know. Fine, let's go. I'm scared. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Damn! Okay, not only is it cold, the shade is a bit mad. You know what this reminds me of? You know, like in the 80s, na Ugh. in the 80s, 90s, when they didn't have any shades for the black girls. This is turning into a disaster. I'm gonna try and see if I can smooth it out as much as possible. Cause this is bit, bitty AF. Oh my days. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Okay, let's try. Let's try and salvage this. We can, we can't, we can't. Yeah, we can, we can. Just blend. It smells nice though. It's a cinnamon, I'm sure. We can salvage this. I'm sure we can. Oh my days. There's no salvage in this. Do you know what? Guys, it's coming through. What I've realized with these, these techniques, you just need to let the stuff dry. <laughs> you need to let the stuff dry. I literally, as I keep talking, I hope I don't break out. That's all I keep saying. Ooh. It's too much. It's too much foundation. Or whatever this is supposed to be. Too much. Maybe I should have just done the instant coffee powder. I feel like the cinnamon has made it a bit 
Mad. This does not look like foundation, it looks like a face mask. I'm trying to blend. Fight the girl over the man, me not idiot. Kind of let it dry. But as it's drying, I feel like I'm getting some sort of like healthy. Yeah, we need to let it dry. A little bit more coverage near the mouth. Anyways, next reason I got was preventing courts of justice, protesting or looting. Girl, let's talk about that actually. And I know you lot are probably, okay, let me take this off. No one's gonna take me seriously. I'm sure you guys have all seen what's going on right now, especially in America, all the protests. I don't even know what to say. All I know is that this has been a long time coming, a very long time coming. And I'm so happy that people are finally deciding to stand, to speak out about the constant injustice that black people face in society society every single day. The only thing that's annoying me about these protests is that the meaning and the agenda behind it is now being watered down, it's being manipulated, it's being transformed because of the people joining that are doing the most. We've got people that don't even care about the cause, that don't even care about George, that don't even care about discrimination, they don't care about any of it. They're just using this as an opportunity to come and steal, to come and do stuff and a lot of them are not even black. And that is one thing in that whole that whole thing that really grinds my case. I hope those four men do get charged. I think that's very little to ask for. And even if it's not four of them, the guy who done it needs to get charged. If that guy walks away scot-free, guys, all we can hope is for change. But how do we get change? Not by just praying. Uh-uh. We gotta do the work. In terms of like everybody like influences and stuff like that. Personally, there's no need going to bully people and force people to make them speak out. People are going to speak out when they want to speak out and those who don't, just keep an eye on that. Don't forget that that happened because now you've got a lot of people speaking out just for banter, just because it looks cool, just because they're trying to save face and just because, you know, they're scared of backlash. It's not genuine. I'm not saying leave them alone because, oh, leave them alone. You're right to want people to speak out, people who, you know, take advantage of our culture, capitalize off our culture. We're right to want them to speak out, but there's no point in forcing them. They don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. All we do, we say, okay, and then in future, keep an eye on that and act accordingly. You don't have to support them anymore because now you've seen what they really think. You know, you've seen how they really move. Another thing I find weird is the fact that what happened to, to Corona, mate? Corona, has it all of a sudden disappeared? This has come down really nicely. I've got a really nice glow. Wow. It is a bit bitty. Let's not lie. There's bits of cinnamon on my, on my face. Let's be real. But apart from that, I'm feeling this glow, girl. I'm going with the actual powder, cinnamon powder, and I'm gonna set that, I'm gonna set that with the powder. And that's the foundation done, baby. So what we're gonna move on to next, there is no, what's it called? Concealer, none, no. Next up is contour, and for that, some grinded up coffee beans that I will use as my contour color. That, I feel like should be just fine, simply because it's just powder. It's not really showing up much. So much texture on the face. And yeah, okay, that's not bad. Now that it's drying, I feel like I'm getting more of a, like a tan, like a glow. I look like I'm wearing foundation that's a bit too dark for me. What we're gonna get onto next is the eyeshadow. Now for eyeshadow, what they would usually do, I found this to be the littlest part of it all. They would either get glitter from like birthday cards that people send them, or they would go in with the instant coffee powder or the cinnamon powder and, you know, use that as their crease color. But if you wanted that pop, pop of color, which is what we're gonna be going for, what you would need is some deodorant, okay? It would need to be the stick one as well. Not just any deodorant, the stick deodorant. And a magazine. I have a magazine, but it's ripped up, okay? I've ripped up all the pages. I took a picture ages ago and I ripped up all the pages. But what you would do is you will scroll through your, ma Ooh, scroll through your magazine and you will find a page with really good colors on it. So, you know, as you can see, there's lots of good colors on these pages. Then, Take a piece of fabric like this, rub it on the deodorant, and then you rub it on the section you want, like so. And then it comes out on the black cloth fabric. Are you done? And that's how you choose what look you want. I don't actually know what color I'm going for today. Should I do a green, purple? Hmm. 
a blue. I don't think blue would suit me. Blue eyeshadow would be a bit mad. I want something bright that you can see. Ooh, or red. You know what I might do? I might do, I'm gonna do one color on each lid. Can you even see that? Mm, let's try another color. Or do you do it on your finger? I can't remember what they said. No, they're for the cloth. The pink might come out more. It's a bit that I took off. Oh my gosh, it's not coming up. That's crap. Is it because this is too dark? I'm doing my eyeshadow. So I'm going to change. It's coming up. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> but I sure can. <laughs> I cleared off the top layer before you people come in. Oh my days, girl. Can you see that green? Oh my days. We want it really, I want it really pigmented. So I'm going to go in as much, as many times as I possibly can. I'm feeling this. Let's go back to our answers another reason someone said they'd most likely be jailed for is assaulting somebody at work i understand your struggle especially now that things are going back to normal a lot of us will be going back to work that's one thing i'm not looking forward to i am looking forward to it on one hand but then when you remember who's there it's like damn i've been having a blast without you guys so this is as much as it's gonna get guys i've really taken the heck out of this uh, what's it called? Remember how the hat was before when we first started? This is me just rubbing. The, all the pigment is gone. So that's the eyeshadow done. I think I'm gonna push it and try to do eyeliner with my honey and coffee, because I feel like it can work. Can it work? Try. If it looks ugly, it looks ugly. Okay, it's gonna be like a brown liner. I fight no girl over no man, me no idiot. I don't actually know why that song's in my head. This is coming through. Like I said, I hope I don't break out and I hope the honey doesn't rip out my lashes and my eyebrows. Cause that would be a joke. This stinks, oh my gosh. Let's do a bit of, of blush. For blush, and this is what I'm gonna use for my lips also. They would use Kool-Aid. So upset because I only bought two and I don't know what the other one is and this one I'm gonna use on my face Hopefully there's a bit left that I can actually try it out. I've never tried this but apparently it's not actually that great Rip that open. I'm gonna use that on my cheeks as well as on my lips As you can see this makeup look doesn't really have much to it because There's only so much we can do. Pour our cool. Oh, I think I've got the wrong flavor mm, This smells strong it smells of just chemicals. Why is it purple? Is it not meant to be red? I don't know, I don't know. Will I use this as blush? Yes. If anything's gonna make me break out, it's probably this. Put that there like this. Can you even see? I just feel like I'm looking muddier and muddier. Oh my days. Let's just stop, let's just stop. I'm gonna add some water to the Kool-Aid. This looks like the, those memes of God making me. Whoa! Ow, I get it. Don't know if you can see, it is bright. Red. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm even scared to put my nails in there. Will it? And no, I did not go and get my nails done. These are press-ons. Not that they're anything to brag about. The tip is mad big, but hey, we do what we can in this time. I'm gonna go for a red lip. Okay. Red lipstick is not my fave anyway. So I look like an auntie. I look like an African auntie right now. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, this tastes so bitter. Is that why people put so much sugar in it? Yuck. We are in the room. We have arrived. I think that's it. I don't think there's any more to it. No girl can't see me as a problem. Them a man can see me walk on them. Me no love chat, but me a want them. Tell them this a real shen yeng and them. Now fight no girl over no man, me no idiot. Tell me how it looks out of 10. Do I look remotely beautiful? Came through, guys. If I ever went to visit someone and this was their face, I'd be like, girl. Ah! Sorry, I keep licking my lips. It's so disgusting. 
I need to wipe this shit off. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you feel. How you feel? I'm scared to talk. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you guys feel that I did. Out of 10, considering I was not very optimistic about this situation, this doesn't look too bad from far. But think about it properly. When you go and visit people, you're not bare up close to their face. If the visitor is far, come on now. If the visitor is far, <laughs> the visitor is far and there's a glass, then we're good to go. But if you're trying to do close contact, this is not good for those conjugal visits. This is not great. Don't even do this for conjugal visit. It will just smear all over the place. It will smell. This is not the makeup to fall asleep with either. Just wake up with bare ants eating you up. Hell to the no. This is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think. I will try and leave the link down below of the documentary or any videos that I've seen regarding jail makeup or prison makeup. I can't remember which one. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.